This is our deep dive video into the StatMed Board's test taking workshop, our live online one-on-one -on -one workshop designed for bad test takers at the medical board's level. It's for people who self-identify as bad test takers when it comes to these single answer, multiple choice clinical vignette questions that we see on medical board exams like the USMLE, the Comlex, specialty boards, and the NAVLE among others. So from the top, let me just say, test taking is never about beating or outsmarting the test. That's impossible at this level. These things are statistically normed and validated by teams of psychometricians. When we talk about bad test taking with medical board exams, we're talking about the test takers methodology, about process, about consistency, about strategy and tactics, and ultimately about how the test taker is plugging into, or what I call interfacing, with each and every question. If you are good at this, and most med students and physicians are, then there's nothing to talk about here. But if you are bad at this, if you're a bad test taker on medical board exams and you struggle to show what you know on boards, then it is a huge, vague, insidious issue, then you're in the right place. So we wanna be good test takers, which means ideally learning to use the parts of what we know to eliminate wrong options and choosing from the best of what's left using the parts of what we know. But this isn't happening for our bad test takers. Why is that? It could be one or a combination of the following. It could be that you, the bad test taker, are using flawed or corrupted strategies. Or maybe aspects of your reading brain are getting tangled up as you navigate the question. Or perhaps aspects of cognition like working memory or executive functioning are being overloaded. Maybe there's an underlying reading or processing issue making managing the density of questions harder for you. I mean, shoot, if, if there's an ADHD diagnosis, I can probably tell you exactly where and why things are breaking down and how to address these issues within the workshop. I mean, look, it can be any of these issues or more. But the bottom line is this, bad test takers know more than they're showing on their medical board exams. This is a very real problem for a certain subset of medical students, physicians, veterinarians, and those in related health professional fields. These issues are often based on patterns that are invisible to the test takers themselves. And a given person is likely doing the same handful of bad mistake patterns over and over and over again on an infinite loop with no corrective feedback to alter the behaviors. We can address these issues with the robust strategies and training which is are exactly what the StatMed Boards Workshop is. We don't fix your issues as much as we tear down your old system, just absolutely bulldoze it and flatten it and then build our already meticulously built system in its place. This is what we do in the Boards Workshop, giving you the tools to be in charge of your test taking so you can change your behaviors, learn how to be a good test taker, train for your exam and show what you know. This is what we've been doing since around 2005 and we're very good at this. So. Let's talk about the nuts and bolts of the StatMed Boards workshop. First of all, let's underscore what tests can be addressed by the workshop. The USMLE, steps one, two, and three. The complex levels, one, two, and three. NBMEs, NBOMEs, and shelf exams. Specialty boards and in-services like emergency medicine, peds, IM, anesthesia, surgery, radiology, cardiology, etc. The NAVLE for veterinarians. Other health professional boards like the NAPLEX, NBEO, etc. This is not suited for the type of classroom exams you might experience as, say, a first year medical student, and it is not designed for the MCAT, for undergraduates, or other people in that sphere. Our workshop clients say things like, My knowledge is good, I can teach my peers, and I do well clinically, but I just can't show it on test day. Or they might say, I get a question wrong, read the explanation, then realize I knew enough to get it right, but only after the fact. We often hear them say things like, I constantly narrow down the two, then constantly pick the wrong one. Or maybe they say I go too fast and I make impulsive mistakes. Or on the other hand, they may say I run out of time and have to rush at the end. These statements are indicative of some sort of systemic test taking issue, which the workshop is designed to address. Now let's talk content and logistics of the workshop. The workshop comprises three main parts and it is all online so there's never any need to travel. One part is the on-demand video lectures that you watch in a dedicated prescribed scope and sequence. The whole workshop is already built so you just plug in and we guide you through it step by step by step. 
Part two is the homework, where you apply the stat med methodology on your own practice questions. And part three are the live online one-on-one -on -one meetings with your stat med specialist. These meetings always have a very specific set of objectives and mostly focus on debriefing on your missed questions. This is where we model feedback and assess your own developing execution and analytical use of the stat med process. This is where you tap into either my or my colleague David's brain time, where your stat med specialist is really digging in and giving you targeted feedback and insight on your onboarding and acquisition and usage of the stat med process using your own missed questions, which makes the experience faster and ultimately more authentic to you, the learner. And that is what we are teaching you, the test taking process, what we call the StatMed Blueprint, which is a meticulous step-by-step -step process for reading and working and solving every board's question that you do. For many of our clients, they've been doing hundreds of thousands of questions and not seeing results. So here's how I see it. They know the result of their decision, the answer they choose that was wrong, but they don't know why they did what they did. So part of the workshop and the StatMed process focuses on teaching you how to meticulously be aware of what I call the micro decisions you made en route to selecting your answer, the macro decision, so to speak. Then we teach you how to see where the good and bad micro decisions fit within the blueprint. This creates structured, consistent, intimate feedback that will serve to help change your bad test taking behaviors to good test taking behaviors because in part, it's external and explicit instead of internal and implicit, which is part of pulling back the curtain so you can see the gears of your own process which again is the key element of how and why this all works so well. As I mentioned already, you will use your own chosen practice questions for all homework. The key is having access to a viable up-to-date question bank with hundreds of questions, each with a full explanation of why the right answer is right and why the wrong answers are wrong. This is essential for making the workshop work for you. Since workshops are entirely one-on-one, -on -one, they are offered year round, Anytime, just contact us to interview and get scheduled to get started. We require that everyone have a brief interview with me before we get started to make sure we're all on the same page. And then we do not invoice anyone until you get your first meeting scheduled. I do all the interviews and videos and my colleague David does almost all the workshops. Statman is very small, just the two of us. So you know you're always in expert hands. Then scheduling is flexible and modular and people often take the workshop while working during rotations or studying for boards independently or while working through a review program. We like to get the first one or two meetings scheduled up front before we start. Then we schedule the rest as we progress through the workshop. This is very pragmatic and helps everyone get the most out of the workshop. While we are flexible in scheduling your meetings, it is crucial that when we have a meeting time set that you attend that meeting on time with the all agreed upon homework being completed. The student schedule spans two weeks from start to finish and the doctor version spans four weeks start to finish. And we schedule as we go to promote flexibility. So for example, a boards workshop student schedule could look like this. You can see how the meetings and homework are distributed starting by watching approximately four hours of on-demand video lectures, where we lay out the StatMed blueprint and delineate a dozen or so missed patterns along with their solutions and lay out the big picture strategy-wise. Then we start the one-on-one -on -one meetings, each meeting having its own agenda, and you always have specific homework between each meeting. But keep in mind, the exact way a schedule maps out is different for each person, and we schedule as we go to optimize each client's needs. And then at the end of the workshop, you are on your own, but you have all the tools that you need to work progressively moving forward. Now, here's a look at what a doctor schedule might look like spanning a month. Please note what I call the first circuit of the workshop, which is true in all workshop formats. I want you to watch the first two units, have meeting one, do the first round of independent homework on your own questions, and then have meeting two all within very close proximity to each other. Ideally within, say, 24 to 72 hours if possible. This maximizes the onboarding of the system coupled with immediate feedback. This lets us then space out the remaining sessions and lets you get more volume done on the back end of the workshop, again, scheduled as we go. Again, every client schedule will look different, but these two examples hopefully give you an idea of how the workshop is set up. And again, just keep in mind, 
Boards workshop clients are doing other things while taking the workshop, working clinically, on rotations, studying, living, life, etc. We can send interested clients a detailed PDF with a more nuanced breakdown of exactly how much time is required between meetings as well if you're interested. So this underscores how homework schedule and speed of completion will vary based on each client's needs and your stat med instructor, either David or myself, will guide you through this if you take the workshop. The workshop is for people who make too many test taking mistakes on board exams. But how do we know if this applies to you? To determine if this applies to you, we need to define knowledge versus test taking misses. Knowledge misses are when you've never heard of it before, the concept or the detail. When you say, I've seen this before, but I don't know what it is. So an encoding or recall issue. Or you might say, when we could not recall the details in the moment, another type of encoding or recall issue, or when you just in straight up learned it wrong. On the other side of the equation, we have test taking misses. And these are when you realize you could have gotten the question right using parts of what you knew, using proper test taking process after you miss it, then read the explanation. Broadly speaking, you might, after you read the explanation, you might realize, oh shoot, I knew that, I should have gotten it right. Maybe you latched onto one clue, ignoring others. It could be that you narrowed down the two and picked the wrong one. You might twist or reduce a clue to make a square peg fit in the round hole, or maybe you were blinded by a prediction, among other things. Now, play a game with me. Let's pretend you do a bunch of practice questions, say 20, 30, 40, whatever, and let's imagine you miss 10 questions. These are a broad representative 10 questions. Let's visualize each of these as a game chip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. So from these 10 missed questions, how many would be knowledge versus test taking speaking broadly and representatively do this fast and don't overthink it. Would it be three knowledge to seven test taking misses the three to seven miss ratio? This indicates terrible test taking if that's the case, or would it be say nine to one? This indicates the issues are largely knowledge based and thus not a fit for the workshop right now. Or perhaps maybe it's something more like five to five, a five knowledge to five test taking miss ratio. This is still a huge percentage of test taking misses and needs to be fixed. Therefore, if you make too many test taking misses, it sounds like the board's workshop could be a great fit for your needs. If the issues are largely knowledge based, perhaps look into our reboot camp or study skills courses. The last thing to discuss is when to take the workshop. In general, take it now if you identify with the patterns that we just discussed. If you are ready to make practice questions part of your prep, now is a good time to start. And take it now if you want to change your test taking. Okay, how about for when we would say do not take it? Well, do not take it if you are looking for a magic pill. Don't take it if you are looking for study skills, content review, or study plan, although those can be done in tandem with the workshop. Don't take it if you're not willing to put in the hard work during and after the workshop because once the workshop is over, even though the process will be on board, you will still need to work to truly change the behaviors and train for your test using everything we've given you. Don't take it now. If you are in an intense rotation where you are stretched extremely thin and have no brain power to dedicate to the workshop, perhaps wait until you have a lighter rotation or a weekend between rotations where you can onboard at least the first half, the first circuit of the workshop. We can talk about these and any other scenarios if you want. And don't take it if you think at least 90% of your issues are knowledge based. And you may want to wait to take it later if you are not ready to make practice questions a part of your prep yet, or if you recognize that you have these issues, but you are not yet at a board prep level. The workshop is just not suited for many first years or even many second years early on. You have to be at a board prep level to really benefit from the workshop. So to learn more about the Stat Med Boards Workshop, feel free to email us, call us, or visit us online. Look, what we do is so rare and detailed, and even this video series may not be enough to wrap your head around what we do and how we do it, so please reach out anytime. We'd love to talk about what we do. Thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.